Glad you guys are here today. Now, for those of you who've been with me for a while, or maybe not even, I'm most known for my marble pours. I absolutely love them. And I haven't done one in just a little bit. And I've added a few different colors to my neutral color palette. I usually use all neutrals because I try to achieve realistic marble, okay? And what I have here, I'm just gonna leave the details down in the description. But because I do have some custom mixes, I find it a lot easier and I do get questions. So um, here I'm using a little bit of leftover white pearl or just a new metallic that I'm using. I've used it before, but new to my color palettes. I also have some parchment paper here, or parchment, <laughs> parchment <laughs> and by Liquitex. And I, what I did was just, um, Tinted it a little bit by adding some white, so I changed that just for variation. And then uh, my basic 24 karat gold, my Deco Art Metallic Silver, and then my bronze. I also have some white here, which is really thin. Uh, I'd probably say it's like a trace, okay? So close to a Dutch or a pearl pour consistency but a little bit thinner than my usual slight mound. And the reason why I've done that is, um, and I won't get into too much detail. If you're looking for a detailed tutorial, go check out my Marble Effect playlist. I do marble pours in a variety of ways, uh, so I can't tell you one way to do them. There's a variety of ways to create gorgeous acrylic pouring marble effects, and I will be getting into painting marble and doing all of that stuff as well in the near future. So I like to go in oftentimes with the white when I do a flip cup, which is what we're doing today, and kind of add that in um, at the end to just kind of go in and smooth out some of the colors. So I'll still have some of the brightness from each color, but it will go in and blend each one of those colors as well, which creates a very gorgeous variation that you see in marble. You often don't see just dark or just light. You see a variation of each um, so I like to do that and then I also love to add black because black to me in anything is always great and it will just add a bit more contrast and it will highlight these gorgeous colors and then it will also shift some of the tones okay so that's what we're doing so I have this really cool cup that I can't wait to fill and we will be pouring on a 16 by 20 inch canvas I'm excited Let's go ahead and get going.
very happy with this overall piece. Um, definitely looks like marble. Uh, if you guys watched my last marble pour, I actually showed you the marble flooring in my home and it's in these colors, a lot more white in it. Um, but yeah, at least for me, I can't tell that this isn't marble that you would buy from a flooring store. Uh, that being said, you've seen how I layered the cup and what I mean about the light and the dark variations, right? So I didn't want it like very gray and very white in spots. I wanted the variation and that's exactly what happened. I was a little nervous there at first because I did see some cells. Um, I was able to stretch them out and create other gorgeous marble patterns with that. Um, and then you guys seen how I went in and just accentuated a few lines. But again, a lot of them were already there. Like these were here. I added in a few up here, a few here. And uh, I really love this. I love these colors, neutral. And the variations are absolutely beautiful. I didn't want to add too much vein lines in. Um, some marble, like if you were to get flooring, you'll see variations of tons of vein lines and some of them that don't when you lay it. And I, I like the vein lines, but I don't like it overloaded. Um, I really just love the patches of different patterns in marble. And I love the way this turned out. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Again, if you're interested in learning how to uh, create marble designs, realistic ones, uh, go ahead and take a look at my Marble Effect playlist. And until next time, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you all in the next one.